Hi, while we're still waiting for Python to be installed on the computers in the lab, I thought we'd use Python Anywhere, which is an online platform, and you can create a free account to use. It means you could also use it at home to practice on. So the first thing I want to do is go to www.pythonanywhere.com. Once you're there, find the start running Python online in less than a minute. It's on the left hand side. So I'm going to click on that, it's the big green button. Okay, and then I want to create a beginner account. So I'm going to create beginner account, which is free. Okay, once here, I've already done this, so I won't show you this part exactly, but you need to choose a username, type in an email that you're going to, that you have access to and use, a password that you remember, your password again. Then you'll need to agree to the terms and conditions and click on register. Once you've done that, it will take you to another window, but before you go on with that, I want you to go into the email that you use to sign up for the account. Okay, I'm in my email now. When you're in there, you should see an email called Python Anywhere. Confirm your email address. You'll go, need to go into it and you need to find the please click this link and then click on the link. When you click on the link from your email, it'll bring you to this window here. Now, there's nothing else you need to do on this page. What I want you to do is go to your dashboard, which is in the top right corner. So click on the dashboard link. And when you're in there, what you're going to need to do is create a new console. Now, when you come in here, I think yours won't look quite like this to begin with. You'll have a, a tutorial offered to you. You can just skip that. It doesn't really help with that much, I found. So just skip that tutorial and get to this window. And then I want you to come over to new console on the bottom left side. Click on Python and we're going to create a 3.7 version. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, right, it'll just take a moment to create that for me. Now from the console, you can actually type directly into it. So I can say print, hello world, enter and it'll print for me. However, I want to use files now. So what we're going to do is go over to the three lines next to share with others. I want you to click on the three lines at the top right and you should see a menu pop up. I want you to click on the files menu. Okay, once you're in there, I want you to create a file. Now you can call it whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna call it first icon. All right, and then, no matter what you call that, but you need to have a dot and a py at the end. So the dot py, you need to have or it won't work. This just tells the um, application that it's Python code inside it. Okay, so once you've typed in your um, file name followed by .py, you're gonna say new file, which is over on the right side. Just waiting for that to load. Okay, so what I've got here is on the left hand side is my Python file. And I can do the same thing as I was doing before. I can type in here what I want to do. I'm going to type hello world again. And now this time what I want to do is I'm going to click run. 
and that'll bring up the console in the bottom and run what I've just typed in my file. So you can see the console's popping up in the bottom and it's run my program and printed hello world. The other thing you can do is at any time, if you want to save, you can click save over here. So if I want to save hello world in my first Python, I can click save. And then I can come back another time to the files menu and I'll find first python.py and it will load my program in there. Okay, and I could now type other things for it to print for me. I might type this time, hello, welcome to my first Python. Okay, I'm going to run that again and it'll print it up at the bottom for me. Hello, welcome to my first Python printed down the bottom. Now, I'd like you to have a go at using print to print out some other things. So have a go at doing that. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is variables. Now variables, if you remember the video we watched, stores something in it. So if I wanted to create a variable called name, let's say, and then I can assign something into it. So I can say name equals Tanya. Okay, and now name variable holds string Tanya. So I, now what I could do is also say print name and it'll print out my variable. So again, I'm going to click run and have a go at that. And it's print out my name, Tanya. Okay, the other thing I could do now is I can add in some extra words. So I can say, hi, my name is, comma, name. I'm going to run that now. And it's print down the bottom here. Hi, my name is Tanya. Alright, and we could do this with anything. I could do this with a number as well. So I can now say, I don't know, um, number equals 24. Now I can say print my number is comma number. And I'm going to run that now. Hi, you can see down here. Hi, my name is Tanya. It's printed out what I stored in name, which is Tanya. And my number is 24. And I stored 24 in the variable number. And it's printed out 24 when I asked it to print out what I stored in number here. So again, have a go, practice using this to store and print out other variables. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is math mathematical operators. So addition, subtraction and multiplication. I'm just going to delete this. You can save it, start new files, but for this video I'm just doing it like this. So what I can do is I can say x equals, I can choose any number I want, I'll say 10, y equals, I might say 5, and now let's see what happens when I ask print do x plus y. I'm also going to do x minus y. I'm going to do x multiplied, which is this star y, and I'm going to do x divide y. Right, I'm going to run that. Let's see what it does. All 
Alright, so it's printed out x plus y at the top here, 15. Underneath that it's printed x minus y, 5. Underneath that it's printed out 50, which is x multiplied by y. And under that it's printed x divided by y. So again, this is a really good thing to practice with. You could change the numbers around and see what happens.